हेलो जियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट क्लास ऑफ क्लास सिक्स हिस्ट्री एंड सिविक्स टुडे फर्स्ट वी विल हैव अ लुक ऑफ द आंसर्स ऑफ योर रिवीजन टेस्ट पेपर ओके आई होप यू ऑल हैव डन विथ फुल ऑफ ऑनेस्टी लेट्स चेक योर आंसर्स फर्स्ट एंड वेर एवर यू हैव डन मिस्टेक्स यू नीड टू करेक्ट दोज मिस्टेक्स ओके यू नीड टू लर्न और रिवाइज द चैप्टर अगेन so first as it was given to you fill in the blanks so there were four blanks and here are the answers you have to match your answers these are of eight marks right and second it was true false okay so here are two true false of four marks then two short questions that define the term history here is the answer and then b question what do you understand by the stone age here is the answer and one you had long question okay that was you were supposed to write the achievements of humans in the stone age okay so here this is the answer so match your answers and evaluate your you no know, mistakes and see how much you have scored in that okay and where you are lacking if you don't understand anything i told you earlier also you can write in the comment section so that you know i can work on that i can tell you the thing or the topic again okay now my dear student as we have already started the chapter second chapter the river valley civilizations in the previous video and i already covered up one civilization that is mesopotamian civilization so first we will recall what we studied in the previous chapter uh, previous video and then we will move further okay so first so we studied about mesopotamian civilization and before that we studied that how early human started settling down which made rise of cities in the bronze age right and then we studied very important thing that why all the civilizations developed along river valleys okay there were you no know, several reasons then we studied about i told you about four civilization like first one is mesopotamian then egyptian civilization then harappan civilization and chinese civilization right so mesopotamian we already studied in the previous chapter that it was you know uh, resided near the river tigris and euphrates now in iraq right and we studied about the source materials both literary and archaeological then the town planning social life occupation of sumerians sumerians were the people or you can say the powerful people emerged as you know powerful group among all three groups which were akkad and assyria right and we studied continuously about sumerians in the previous video and we studied about their religious beliefs right their scripts development in mathematics and astronomy and then at last we studied about babylonian civilization babylonian civilization where we studied about hammurabi the greatest ruler and his code of law right and this babylonian civilization came after the decline of sumerian civilization right so here we completed this mesopotamian civilization now this is the time to study about egyptian civilization okay so students egypt often called the gift of nile okay often called the gift of nile here you can see the first line and basically why because the annual flood of river nile provided fertile land and water for irrigation right to the people of egypt and this phase of you know the phase of this civilization is divided into three parts old kingdom the middle kingdom and the new kingdom here you can see at last line three 
face the old kingdom okay then you can see here new kingdom middle kingdom right then now come to the source material see whenever we are going to study about history in any topic you know not only in any topic in every topic we are going to study about source materials okay as you know very well that there are two types of source materials literary and archaeological so here in egyptian civilization the literary source materials basically you know uh, hieroglyphic writings here you can see hieroglyphic right graphic right okay on papyrus and engraving on pillars engraving on pillars walls of tombs and palaces okay means writings on these things are known as literary source materials then we have next archaeological source material so there are three points you can see first you can see buildings structures like pyramids temples palaces okay administrative buildings you can see here and pillars then if we talk about the next point statues of various you know mythological figures and rulers means very old statues and kind of you know religious one and it it may include rulers also then the third point is artifacts means goods made by human and other goods like bronze right tools objects spindle walls ivory and stone so these are the archaeological source materials now come to the town planning very very important line in town planning you can see first line in the city of amarna in ancient egypt a royal road ran parallel to the river nile one royal road parallel to the river nile it connected to the northern and central parts of the city okay and after that the king's official residence the most important buildings were in egyptian civilization here you can see king's official residence okay temples administrative buildings storehouses and clusters of you know mud bricks houses and ordinary of ordinary people so these are the buildings which we can find if we talk about egyptian civilization then now come to the social life of people so king was regarded as god okay and he was given the title here you can see one word paharor this is very important word it was a title given to the king okay and the king after that other officials other people which were followed after king were priest okay and officials then if we talk about you know craftsmen farmers slaves they come matlab they were following after king okay then now come to the occupation occupation here you can see agriculture was the main occupation okay and apart from agriculture they domesticated animals and they had you know some other skills also like you can see here weaving stone working ivory working okay and here you can see glass making etc so these are the occupation of egyptian people okay now come to the religion of egyptian people religion here you can see religion the sun god re okay in the first line was the most important egyptian god then the moon the floods and other natural phenomena were also worshiped so they were you can say you no know, nature worshipers kind of people okay then they believed see the next paragraph they believed that the uh, that after death body both the body and the soul continued to live in another world here you can see okay in another world according uh, accordingly they emblemed dead bodies okay have you heard about mummies so we are going to study about that only applied salt and chemicals on the dead bodies in order to preserve them okay in order to save the bodies for so many years so the bodies were ten, you know then wrapped in strips you can say of clothes and preserved in coffins 
okay these emblemed bodies are called mummies okay and the coffins were buried in tombs along with the personal belongings of the dead means the dead person so they used to put other things also with the dead person so that because there was a belief that you know they they will have the life both body and the soul after their death also okay now come to the script the next topic is script so here you can see the script a script you need to only understand one thing that the egyptian script is called you can see hieroglyphic hieroglyphic okay meaning is scared sorry meaning sacred carving okay kind of religious one okay this only you need to understand now come to the development in science and technology very important part here you can you know you have to understand one thing that egyptians developed a solar calendar see the next paragraph this one developed a solar calendar observed that the interval between two floods was 365 days means in 365 days there were two floods and divided this period into 12 months in of 30 days each here you can see okay so this was the development in science and technology and the most wonderful one very important line see that the last one the most wonderful creations of the egyptians do you know that most wonderful creation of the egyptians are the pyramids pyramids you all have studied i suppose right which were built as the tombs of pharaohs means the kings okay each one combined a you no know, each one contained a king's mummy means the dead body mummy is what preserved dead body right which is you know which they were supposed to keep inside the tomb okay and his precious belongings okay his precious belongings so till here you can see his precious belongings okay now very important thing is if we you know want to give one example of a pyramid you have to look at, at you no know, at the next page here you can see the great pyramid okay next page you can see the great pyramid at giza near cairo the best example of which which we are talking about here pyramid okay and it was built here you can see was built for the pharaoh khufu means king khufu okay so do you need to understand this then one very important thing in the next paragraph see here the egyptian also made figures of a mythological animal called sphinx this one okay this is basically you know the body of a lion and head of a man okay the picture is also there in your book you can see that so this is called what is sphinx okay is sphinx so the egyptian also made figures of a mythological animal called sphinx the sphinx usually here you can see had the body of a lion and the head of a man okay so here dear student we have completed egyptian civilization also now come to the next civilization that is your chinese civilization again very important civilization and this civilization basically developed along the river huang ho around 1765 bc okay the huang ho is called the sorrow of china why it is called a sorrow of china because it often changes its course after a flood causing a lot of damage so whenever they had flood because of this river they had lots of lots of damage and that that damages that is why this is called this river is called sorrow of china okay now come to the source material source material of chinese civilization again we are going to study about literary and archaeological so first you can see literary source material here the literary source materials include what they include bamboo strips bones silk scrolls okay and if we talk about archaeological source material you can see building structures like large okay building structures 
here this is the picture of sphinx you can see here this one okay now come to the archaeological source material okay so buildings such as here you can see uh, palaces okay administrative buildings temples and workshops for the production of various kind of kinds of goods okay then another kind of archaeological source material we have bronze tools weapons vessels okay and you can say pottery bamboo and silk good tortoise shells and bones used for predictions by oracles okay now come to the next part of chinese civilization that is your town planning in town planning you know along this city street they situated palaces here you can see palaces okay administrative buildings along these temples and along these streets were worship you know workshops involved in making pottery okay jade and you know uh, porcelain goods and bronze casting so you have heard about china ware also you know different different things they used to make so these are the things and this is what we call in town planning and then now come to the social life so king was you know at the highest position in the society and after that nobles and other people like military people then merchants craftsmen and then followed by the farmers and at last slaves were you know they were at the lowest level of the society very easy paragraph social life here okay now come to the occupation so for chinese also agriculture was a chief occupation okay and what they used to do actually they grew millets rice and wheat okay they had an elaborate system of irrigation okay and one very important thing then they used to make or they make silk from the cocoons of silk worms here you can see cocoons of silk worms otherwise they used to make potteries okay they used to make crockeries or bronze casting all these things they used to do now also they do but if we are talking about of egypt sorry chinese civil civilization now come to the religion of chinese civilization so the chinese worshiped the forces of nature okay and the chinese believed that see the second line the chinese believed here you can see believed that the spirits of dead had great you can say powers they believed that the dead persons spirits Had powers, the dead were wrapped in matting and buried along with their precious belongings. See, dear students, in all the civilization, whether we talk about Mesopotamian, whether we talk about Egyptian or Chinese, all had the same belief that there is a life after death, and they used to keep you know precious things along with the dead body. Okay, and what they used to do, the Chinese you know consulted oracles. oracle is a kind of round shaped ball and oracles used to predict future okay priest to learn about the future and these oracles held tortoise shell or kettle bones or over fire now come to the last script chinese script was pictographic very important line chinese script was pictographic okay that is you know words were represented by pictures okay words were represented by pictures i will show you then it is there in your exercise okay and their development in science and technology was the chinese see the last line the chinese calculated the length of the year very accurately as 365 and half days okay they did this by combining here you can see solar and lunar calendars they could here you can see e predict eclipses okay have you heard about eclipses 
you know solar and lunar eclipses so because of this they could even predict about that okay prediction means what we are going to be the next one we already have an idea before it which is called a prediction okay so as we have studied all things same in each civilization scripts religion occupation town planning social life development in science and technology you have to revise all three civilizations okay and what you have to do next i am going to give you short questions today all 15 short questions which are there in your book on page number 15 okay all short 15 questions okay and everything i have discussed with you here you can see the first question is what is the main what is the meaning of the mesopotamia which region did mesopotamia include i am reading each and every answer okay listen carefully mesopotamia means land between rivers mesopotamia included three regions sumer akkad and assyria okay second question is why did early civilizations flourish in river valleys answer is because of the ample supply of water fertile soil and river transport facilities okay for third question is name four river valley civilizations in the bronze age so i discussed today also with you mesopotamian egyptian harappan civilization and chinese civilization okay now come to the next page here you can see fourth question what, what emergence of a civilization in sumer around 3000 bc what led some of the towns of sumer emerged as powerful city states thus sumer became the seat of the earliest civilization in the world next fifth question how did the sumerians control flood they built dikes dug wide canals and created artificial reservoirs okay sixth question what were the chief modes of transport used by sumerians so chief modes of transports were carts on roads and rafts on canals okay seventh question mention two feature main features of sumerians religion beliefs so the beliefs were sumerians believed in life after death and the sumerians were nature worshipers okay now come to the next question question number 8 what was the hammurabi's greatest contribution to the world civilization Hammurabi's greatest contribution was his code of law. Okay, ninth question: Why is Egypt called the gift of Nile? Why? Because the annual flood of the river Nile provided fertile land and water for irrigation. Okay, next tenth question: How was the royal road in the ancient city of Amarna in Egypt laid out? So the answer is. a royal road ran parallel to the river nile it connected to the northern and central parts of the city question number 11 mention the main occupation of the ancient egyptians so the answer is the main occupation of the ancient egyptians were crop cultivation domestication of animals crafts and trade next question question number 12 what were the main differences between the calendars developed by the sumerians and egyptians very important question sumerians developed a lunar calendar and divided the day into 12 into 24 hours and the sky into 12 parts egyptian developed a solar calendar and divided the year into 12 months question number 13 why is the huang ho called sorrow of china do you remember i told you because it often changes its course after a flood causing a lot of damage next question question number 14 list the members of the ancient chinese society in, in order of their importance i told you the king was the head of the society in ancient china followed by the nobles soldiers merchants craftsmen and uh, craftsmen farmers and finally the slaves okay now come to the last question question number 15 that is what function did oracles perform in ancient china how did they do okay so oracles predicted the future okay oracle predicted the future i told you so till here you have to complete your work in your fair notebook okay till then revise the chapter complete your work we will surely do further exercises in the next video okay take care